another review. My name's Daniel Gibson. Today we're talking about Southpaw. Pow! This movie is like boxing central. Jake Gyllenhaal is a hoss. He's a he's he's bad, mean, and don't make him punch you because he'll hurt you. All right. Jake Gyllenhaal is this guy who basically is all about just he takes it, forces his anger. He's rose to the top. He's 43 and 0 and undefeated with four titles under his belt. You know, kind of guy. But uh. He's got his wife, his kid, his daughter, who are like his life. He's going through, he's getting older. He has one big po opponent left, the toughest opponent he's ever faced. And, you know, there's some like that, you know, that antagonization going on. And then some stuff happens, and unfortunately, his wife gets shot. He is left alone to pick up the pieces. His daughter's taken away because of money stuff, and he, you know, he falls apart for his wife's death. And he has to kind of have that redemption story we all love, that underdog rising from the ashes, that phoenix coming forth kind of thing. And so this movie is is intriguing and exciting. Um, I tell you what, where this movie absolutely shines is that I feel every emotion in this film. Like when Jake Gyllenhaal is like getting his butt whooped, you know, when he is whooped by himself though, that's the thing. You watch this guy who has got so much going on and he doesn't realize what he's got to fight for and he's broken and hurting and you're just like, oh no, I want to help you. You're, uh, you know, it breaks your heart and then you feel you feel horrible, you're just like, oh, you know, but that's a great movie is that when you feel every single emotion along the way, this movie nails it. Jake Gyllenhaal was banned, I keep saying his name a lot, Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal, but he is, he is good in this movie. He is so good. Like, the last several movies I've seen him in, he has done a kicking job acting up that screen, you know what I mean? He goes in and, I mean, really just embodies this character who is so a part of away from where he is normally as a person so that was interesting and intriguing um, you know his his daughter is played by a young actress who's fantastic this world is dynamic I mean some of the acting wasn't the best 50 cent you know who you are so you know you watch this but still the movie overcomes it and, and really just brings you a compelling exciting movie that that is thought-provoking now on the negative side now when I talk about these negatives, my other people with the movie did not agree with me totally with my negatives, okay? So you may not either. Understand, I'm just coming at this from a Rocky-loving fan. There wasn't as much boxing in this movie as I'd like to see. Not to say there wasn't boxing, there was. But you just didn't get that intensity of, like, Rocky in the middle of the, you know, he's out in the snowy tundra flipping, you know, tires and dragging cars and being a boss. I didn't get that quite as much from Jake Gyllenhaal, but this was a little bit different story, so I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Just if you're expecting that, don't expect that necessarily, okay? Um, other parts was, on the parental guide, not good. This movie is rated R, so obviously there's a little bit there you know, but there was quite a bit of cursing. Now, it didn't seem as abrupt in most parts, but it's definitely there, something to be aware of, lots of F-words. Um, on the other front, there was the uh, quite a bit of like, there's no nudity in this movie, but there is quite a bit of like just scantily dressed, very revealing. Um, like every shot between rounds, they hold they have the girl walking around and stuff. So just a lot of stuff that wasn't necessary for the movie just really pulled me out of it. Um, definitely things to be aware of with that with on the on the parental guide front. But other than that, it's actually not that bad. It's all put in this world that makes sense. It's not out of place any of it for the most part. Uh, but all in all. There's a parental guide, take it as you will. But without further ado, the review on this movie. Now, this was a source of contention on the car ride to make this review, but I'm gonna give it a 7.3. Now, this movie, other people in the car said an eight, some people said a nine, some people, you know, whatever, we're all over the place. I'm gonna give it a 7.3. It's a really good movie, worth seeing with you and your wife, or you and your husband, or your boyfriend, girlfriend, best buddy, best friend, whatever, but this movie is good. Take a look, take a seat. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Are you excited? What movies did you see this weekend? Um, I want to know everything in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys watching this video and checking out any of our other ones by hitting that subscribe button and going and seeing all our other stuff. We got bukus of videos out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. I'll see you next time.